Hey, hi again, what's up guys? I'm Quite, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having an above average day, but not too above average. I gotta make sure you're a little miserable, otherwise you won't have a reason to keep coming back here. So I was on Twitter yesterday, I know, big surprise, and I guess I was just in the mood to punish myself for something because I was looking at the trending section. And trending number four in the United States under entertainment was hashtag Noah Schnapp is over party. My frantic first thought was, who's Noah Schnapp again? I've definitely heard that name before, and I have both relatively positive connotations and the general look of a young white dude with short dark hair attached to that name in my head. But that does like nothing at all to help narrow down to who this mystery Noah was, and more importantly, what he could have done to get himself his very own is over party hashtag. It's a momentous occasion in any Hollywood actor's life these days. Now if you were in that same boat the same way I was, you're about to feel real dumb the same way that I did. He's Will from Stranger Things. The one that everybody thought got murked. How could I forget that face? Now I feel like a massive dummy stupid head fool. And if you've ever felt like a massive dummy stupid head fool yourself, you'll fit right in around here. If you're enjoying yourself and are new, why not subscribe, turn on them notifications, and relax a little bit. Now at his core, Noah is just another dude like any of us. And just like any other dude, he's on TikTok right now. In fact, he has been for a fat minute. Posting content to his account for months, even before we found ourselves in the middle of being contained like Keter class SCPs. Listen, all I'm saying is that some of y'all are proving exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably. But in regards to Noah's TikTok, real quick I gotta say, dude, you honestly have some bangers. Like, these shits are funny. They just hit. I don't know if I've been conditioned to like funny, relatable Hollywood child via subconscious programming, but I don't really care. Have you thought about being, like, the first pubescent talk show host? And Jimmy Fallon doesn't count, because some of this stuff is pretty good, man. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. The way he targeted his toe around the water, it was so immaculate, so accurate too. It was performance art, honestly. He was so good at pretending to do something that he wasn't actually doing. This kid should be like an actor or something. I know, I know, you guys probably didn't want to hear me say the words TikTok ever again in your lives, but trust me, it's relevant to why people are apparently canceling Noah. And it all has to do with another young, dark-haired white boy, world-renowned lip nibbler Lil Huddy. And if you don't know who Lil Huddy is, you're probably old enough to run for president, and he's one of the biggest TikTok TikTok stars around right now. One of his biggest controversies being that he said the N-word on a live stream a little over a year ago. Some Yankee with no brim from Germany. He apologized for it in a video where he's whispering like somebody hiding in a horror movie the whole time. What I said is wrong and does need to be defended. But even still, it's followed him to this day. Are you actually dating Charlie? What are some things that you're doing to help the environment? And why did you say the N-word? Lil Huddy gets all sorts of shit slung at him for this thing and other stuff every single day. And when you have such a large amount of dung coming at you at any given time, some of it is bound to have gone too far, or just in general, be too much for one person to handle before it becomes overwhelming. And as someone who's a public figure, I'm sure Noah Schnapp understands this kind of pressure. I'm not sure what video it was on, but in the comments section, like a wise old man you probably shouldn't be talking to, Noah extended some words of comfort to Chase. At Lil Huddy, I'm sorry you get so much hate. You really are a good, humble kid, and I have so much respect for you. Don't ever change and keep your head high. Something I think most people would look at and assume is generally wholesome and positive, being supportive and all that. But it seems some people took this as not that thing, but rather as a thing that that isn't. As Noah somehow being supportive of, not Chase as a person, that thing he objectively is, but rather of his action of saying the n-word, and that he's dismissing it as an issue entirely with his comment. To me, it doesn't come off as any of that, just as someone who understands the experience Lil Huddy is going through, reaching out to him to let him know that this isn't the end of the world or of his work and that he can persevere through it. I know what that feels like. I know what that feeling is. I'll even tell you. It's shit. Even if you are upset with Little Huddy for saying the n-word, what Noah is saying in no way directly condones it. It just denounces the overreactions that Little Huddy gets, which is important to do, I think. Luckily, while the hashtag Noah Schnapp is over party was big time trending with some 7,000 tweets for a little bit, most of them, especially the popular ones from what I saw, were people disagreeing with the supposed canceling of Noah Schnapp. Fan cams with captions of people voicing their support for Schnapp and arguments for why what he did wasn't anything harmful or bad. Hell, even the screenshot you see of Noah's comment was liked by the screenshotter, which makes me think they agreed with it and took the screenshot with the intent of sharing it in a positive light. Only for some people to have the reaction they are now, 
war. Noah's just chilling on Twitter, securing the bag, doing a little sponsored Doritos tweet about graduation speeches or something. Get that paper, son. But wait, in the replies, what's that? Oh no, a random Twitter user has replied with the screenshot of the comment and it's gotten a hundred likes. Red alert, I repeat, red alert. Career stability is in critical condition. I repeat, critical. Obviously I'm joking, but upon realizing that the reply was doing kind of wellish, they replied with a fan cam of some K-pop star dancing in a strawberry costume. And yes, I recognize that not knowing their name could get me in severely hot water, but unfortunately that just makes this scenario even funnier. I know that that account probably posted that comment trying to get some kind of gotcha moment like, hey, look at this really bad looking thing you haven't explained slash addressed yet. It's a trap meant to bait people into either inadequately responding or looking scared by not responding, but that only really works when the thing you're trying to get them with is actually that incriminating or heinous, which this isn't. He didn't exactly tell a sex offender to never change and keep his head up, he told that to Lil Huddy. Side note, I love how in that comment he refers to Chase as a kid despite being like three years younger than him. Eh, that doesn't mean anything, I just thought it was funny. I saw one person who wasn't too happy with Lil Huddy and was going off on Noah Schnapp tweet something like, there are Lil Huddy fans in my mentions? I didn't know he had fans. And it's like, bitch, do you not know how to counter some shit? 19 million followers is what he has. That's six zeros. That's a whole lot of people. You don't have to like the guy, but to say you didn't know he had fans just reflects more poorly on you for being out of touch. I know I've had moments where I had no idea who a particular big YouTuber was, and I've said as much in videos, but none of that suddenly makes a couple million people disappear. It makes me late. Being fond of someone is not a requirement to acknowledge the factual truth that there are multiple people in the world who would consider themselves fans of said person's content. I saw one tweet saying that telling someone who said the n-word to never change was problematic, but never change as a phrase does not literally mean never change. It typically means don't change the positive things about you, the good things about a person who make them what they are. Like, I don't know, maybe the things that Noah specified he liked about Lil Huddy two lines earlier in the comment, like being good and humble. Not never change, go ahead and say the n-word again. You know what? Fuck it. Boot up PUBG, start streaming, and get to the bridge, baby. Now moving on from that, like I said earlier, most most of the tweets for fan cams from various fandoms, both K-pop and Stranger Things related, which I was really worried about because I haven't finished season three yet. I know I'm late, but please don't spoil it in the comments. I want to watch it and continue to not do so more than ever right now. But amongst the sea of potential spoilers and also dancing men and women with far more drip than I could ever hope to achieve was one particular tweet that I found made me get the little nose puff. You know the one I'm talking about. It's the really weak one that has about as much power behind it as American third parties. From at Pornhub Premium, bitch, all he did was comment. Y'all act like he wearing one of these. Hashtag Noah Schnapp is over party. And then it's just a bunch of dudes in KKK uniforms. It's some shit all right, but thanks for the giggle, homie. Here's one free bathroom pass that is now useless because schools have ended for the whole year across the entirety of the country. One person I saw tweeting about this was a Millie Bobby Brown stand of all people, getting mad that Noah was getting some kind of special treatment. That while he's supposedly getting all this leeway for being just a kid, when Millie does something, her being 16 means she's grown up enough apparently. Noah's stands really wouldn't last a single day as Millie's stands, LMFAO. It's a competition now? Who has the hardest life as stan accounts? Well, for one, you've committed yourself to a life of struggle by making a stan account, period. I should know, I've made two of them. But I didn't realize we were having straight up turf wars over which actor from a fandom we like the most. Culture is crazy these days, man. It'll start off all innocent with the playful jests and subtweets, but then beef gets a little personal. Two individuals from the separate stan factions of Noah Schnapp and Millie Bobby Brown start ripping into each other in some poor Sod's Twitter replies. And the next thing you know, they figured out each other's addresses and they started gunfighting in the middle of the street. They're wearing their favorite actors merch while they go on drive-bys. This one's for Millie because I'm finna rock your shit. Hit you with the rifle with the long reach because I'm trying to social distance. But lastly, I saw some people tweeting along the lines of, oh, so we're canceling Noah Schnapp now? People must be really bored if we're stooping this low. And yeah, they're right, I am that bored. Quarantine has gotten me this without shit to do, so I'm ready to cancel him too. But jokes aside, I don't really doubt the authenticity of some of the people who are against Noah on this one. I'm sure there are some who are just bored, but I think there are really some who feel like they are doing the right thing here. And there's something to be said about how good it can feel personally to feel like you're 
you're doing the right thing, that you're making the right call. I know I can and have gotten caught up in that feeling of righteous anger, and it's happened in bad ways before. But I, of all people, should know. You have to be careful. Nobody's perfect, and everybody can get caught up in ourselves sometimes, and we don't think everything through. We overreact to other people's actions, we overcorrect all the time, and if making an unironic attempt to get Noah Schnapp's ass over this is really what's happening, then the bar is incredibly low in my opinion. And we do need to ask ourselves, where is the line with shit like this? What do we each consider to not be okay? And I don't know this definitively for myself. I don't really think anybody does, but I don't think it's anywhere fucking near where Noah Schnapp found himself by making that comment. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on. Comment if you got some thoughts, if you think I missed anything, you got anything to add, or more importantly, a funny comment to make me do the nose exhale. You can follow me on Twitter at quite, on Instagram at quite.png, and on TikTok at quite TikTok. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I'll see you guys next time.